Well, it's finished Luton Town 1, Sunderland 1. Um, a better result this week, of course, um, for the lads. Um, I thought the lads battled well today. Switched off um, the, the Luton's first goal, half-time, just before the um, the half-time whistle went. There was claims that one of our players got a, his shirt pulled, but we switched off a little bit there um, for them to go in 1-0. But to be fair, some you know good substitutions by the manager second half, and we we had a better second half. Put it that way, Sunderland played better in that second half. Um, Sims came on um, for about fifth, like seventeen minutes or so. Um, he did not too bad. Um, some good balls played to him, but his first touch let him down a couple of times. There was one where he would have been clean through if his first touch was better, um, but his touch was bad and it rolled off too much of him and uh, Luton Town cleared um it's a nice work goal nice to see Embleton on the score sheet but um it was it's a big point for Sunderland that I mean we really had to avoid defeat on that one I mean because you know we're getting too near that the drop zone uh, in that league we needed to just avoid defeat it's a tricky place to go loot and I think they've only had one defeat in the last eight games or so and, you know they're not doing too bad so you know you can't be disappointed with that uh 1-1 scoreline um, Patterson I thought was wasn't too bad. Um, we're still giving silly fouls away as well. We're gonna miss Jack Clark on Wednesday because he gave a needless free kick away, um, on the far left hand side corner for Luton. Uh, he didn't really need to do that, so that, that's a, a vital player we'll be missing for Wednesday. Um, but it was an open, it was an open game, especially in the second half. At the end of the day, I do think a 1-1 draw was a fair result um, down at uh, Kenilworth Road, if it's still called Kenilworth Road, I don't bloody know. Um, so the Sunderland fans will be a lot happier now, travelling all the way back up home, um, coming away with a point. Um, we currently were winning and they lost, so and Stoke lost again. So you know, as long as we can do better than them, um, our teams below us, we've just got to keep plodding on. But that is a really good point. Um, away from home um, Jack Clark I was impressed with today I just wish he wasn't so much as bar greedy at times as well where Pritchard was screaming for the ball when Pritchard was trying to take the world on I'm uh, sorry when um, Clark was trying to take the world on and Pritchard was there with his hands and said well what are you doing to lay it back to him but you know hey ho we could have possibly nicked it at the end but like I say it was just our last touch which uh, let us down, um, but yeah, well, well done to the lads today. You know, it was a hard earned point that Luton. I think they'll be there and thereabouts, possibly playoffs. I'm not too sure by the end of the season. Um, got some good players they have, but we've just got to keep on picking point or points up, um, especially until uh, till Stewart gets back. Um, but that has that has done us a lot of good today. That that one one draw. So there was a reason it wasn't that much to report apart from another shabby referee. Where, um, especially there was a moment when I think Circan he was being climbed all over by one of their players in the box, and then we made a challenge and they got a free kick for our challenge. And uh, the amount of times the fans were singing, "You're not fit to wear the shirt." It's, how many times have we heard that? So yeah, we'll go again on. Wednesday away to Huddersfield which will be a tricky game but well done today lads well done um, it's a good point it's a hard point enjoy your hot bath enjoy your travelling home and enjoy your weekend folks and we'll catch you on the flip side for our live stream of commentary against Huddersfield see you later